Argos. It's named after a Greek creature with a hundred eyes, analogous to the antennas. Argos is a new wireless technology which leverages a large number of antennas. This has a number of benefits, including a huge power gain, but more importantly, you're sending to many users simultaneously. So you're getting a huge multiplexing gain. So overall, this increases the network capacity and the energy efficiency of the network. So for the end user, this would mean much, much higher bandwidth and much less power. So your battery would last longer and you would have much faster speeds on the internet. So the white discs mounted on the front are antennas, and the more antennas you have, the more power gains and capacity gains you can get. There's a technique called beam forming, and essentially what we're doing is we're sending a physical beam, so it's like a, using all of these antennas to create a very, very directional antenna focused only on the user that you want to send data to. And we can do this simultaneously to many users. So we, by creating each of these narrow beams, we can send to each user without interfering with the other users. And this gives us a huge capacity gain. So this is an, an awesome project that has a lot of potential. And so far we've shown that you can get these awesome gains at the physical layer. But there's a lot, a lot of other problems that we have to solve before this will meet any sort of cellular product sort of specification. And so this requires, uh, especially on cellular levels, we're having to switch the frequency usage. On top of that, there's a lot of practical and logistical considerations. I mean, not only the standards and all of that, but even just being able to mount this large array on towers presents difficulties such as wind loading, power consumption, and so on. And the sheer size and cost of this array kind of prevents it from initially being used in the home situation for Wi-Fi. Eventually, we hope as the radio shrinks, may be feasible for enterprise networks and maybe eventually home use. But it certainly has a great potential of solving the bandwidth crunch for cellular networks in the next five or ten years.